Hello and welcome to another video. So, I recently saw a video of a guy building a small fuss pedal out of scrap things he had. Now he just put components together and basically made it. Now when I say components I mean resistors and transistors and you know, small things like that. He didn't use a circuit board or anything. Uh, it was a really nice little video. Then afterwards I, I read the comments and someone asked him if he knew how to wire in one of these true bypass switches and he said that that's something that's really difficult to do and that he didn't know how to do it which is of course fine but it's actually not difficult at all so I was thinking that maybe I could show you guys how to do it and it's really simple you just need to understand sort of how one of these switches works and I'm gonna show you okay great so you basically have like three rows one middle row and the upper and lower row now, if you look at these connections, you can see that they are flat. So they're smaller on this side and longer on this side. This is the orientation you want of the switch. One of these sides will be the up and down side. And one of these sides will be the left and right side. You don't want it turned around the other way. Now, you can also see that there are holes in them. Now, the middle row is actually like the actual switch and the other ones are just which way you want to connect it so when you press down once you connect the middle row to this and the next time to the upper row but the middle one is always the row that you're connected to I hope that makes sense so basically something like that I hope that makes sense so you can actually wire this up in a lot of weird ways you don't have to make it a true bypass switch. The way we make it a true bypass switch is by making one of these rows into just a wire connection. So we put a little bit of a wire in between these connections, like so. Now, this row here, when you press it down, will be connected to this, but it's just a jumper cable which is basically the true bypass, because if you look inside a wire for your guitar, when you put it, the guitar into the amp straight, the it's just wires, you know, a ground and a lead wire. Now up here, this is where we will connect our wires for the circuit. For example, let's say you're making a fuzz pedal, we will have two wires going here to the circuit. If you make you will have one wire that is for the signal coming in and the signal coming out, basically. And then you just have to have two wires down here for the output jack. One wire on the middle row. And one for the upper row. And it's super simple, because now this is where your circuit is, and this is where the connections are. These two wires that are in the middle are for the output jacks, these guys. You basically connect them to these wires and your circuit, these upper ones. And all you need to do is press this button and you're either connected to the jumper cable or connected to the circuit. It's super simple. There's nothing really more to it than that. Now you can add some other things to make this a little bit more difficult. Like for example, let's say that you need an LED for turning on the pedal. So all we need to do is basically, we put a little jumper wire from this connection into this connection. Now, the reason why we do it like this is because that lets this row in the middle because you you have the rows in all the right directions it's kind of maybe weird to, to understand but there is a connection between all the rows and so now this connection connects to this row you could put this white wire there but then if you did that a connection between those two that would mean that when the effect of the pedal is not on the light would go on and we wanted to connect to the circuit of when the pedal is on. I hope this makes sense. It's 
not very it's not that more difficult than that and then we just put in two ground wires we put in one in the middle and this one it's going to get connected to the LED the ground leg of the LED now we put one in here and that's the ground connection back to the circuit so that the light is turned on when the pedal effect is turned on. But you could do a lot of other kinds of connections with these switches. You don't necessarily have to follow the ones I show you right here. This is just a very simple way of doing it. And if you look at it this way, you sort of understand how the switch works. If you wanted to, you could also, if you had another effect pedal, let's say, that you wanted to connect a switch between and you didn't want to have true bypass at all you just wanted to have one of these switch work as a switch in between two effect pedals you could connect two other colored wires instead of a jumper cable and those two wires could go to the other effect just like these two cables up here are going to have an effect and then you could have these two wires go to the effect wiring on another switch and then you could have the true bypass on that and if you did that, you would have a pedal with two of these kinds of switches. And one would be for effect or true bypass. And the other one would be to switch between two different guitar pedals, basically. And all you had to do is switch this out. Now, if you don't have this tiny wire here, you'd basically just have a pedal that is either you put on the effect or you don't get any sound at all. So you could do it as some sort of like kill switch. If you wanted to, you could have just a jumper wire and no effect, and you could make a pedal that is just a kill switch, if that's something you need. But this is just the basic wires. You have this side that is letting the jack go. This is connected to the jack, these two cables, and all that does is let the guitar and the amp be connected to the effect pedal. You have this that is letting this signal go through. And then you have these two wires up here that is just a different connection, which is letting the cable go into the effect, whatever it is, and then come back out this way and out. And it's that simple. Now, obviously you have to think about the fact that when you turn this upside down, like this. Your KTR comes in here and it comes out here. And when you turn it, so this is out and this is in. And basically, I hope you can see my little drawing. So there and there. But if you have, for example, a kit that you're building, you will most likely see that it says in and out where these are going to get connected. And if you've made up your own circuit by just putting things together, by, uh, you know, something you saw on someone do on YouTube or something, then all you basically have to do is just put this where they say that the jack is going to go and put this where they say that the, um, the in is going to go, the input jack and this where the output jack and you're good to go because this is just a jumper in between nothing more nothing special hopefully you understood everything it's not that difficult you can also just copy what i did here you know if you don't understand you can at least make sure your wires looks like this now obviously you don't need to use the same colors i just did it to make things look simple and easy and also because usually you use black wires for ground so yeah I hope this helps. Let me know if it did. I would appreciate a thumbs up if it did. You can also write me comments. I look forward to talking to you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.